I have three routers in my shop, a plunge router and two palm router. This is the table for my plunge router. I made this a long time ago. This has served me well in all these years. This is how you change the bit. You can just lift the middle part for easy access. A plunge router takes a one half and a one fourth bit, but a plunge router is very powerful. Sometimes you only need the lesser powerful palm router for your project. That is why owning a plunge router and a palm router is common for woodworkers. This is the table for my palm router. Making a table for your palm router is very easy because it is not complicated. You only need to make a hole in the middle of the table using a spade bit, then screw the router base on the table, and you're done. Removing the router is also very easy. Just loosen the bolt and you can remove the router. Installing it back is also very easy. This is also how you adjust the height of the bit. So if you have an extra router base for your router, switching between a router table and using it by hand is very convenient. Router base for your palm router are available in Shopee and Lazada. They are not expensive. Buy an extra base if you want to make a router table. I will show you my setup for my router table. I designed mine to be clamped in my mini workbench with clamping system. As you can see, my router base is bolted to the table. You can just use an ordinary screw. It will hold the router just fine. This piece of wood is screwed to the router table. There is one on each side. This is where the clamping system will grab hold when placed on the mini workbench. This piece of wood should fit the space in the workbench. I will show you how the clamping system works on my mini workbench. As you turn the two knobs, the workbench will become a clamp or a vise to hold the piece of material. Clockwise turn to clamp, counterclockwise to unclamp. This kind of workbench is available online. This is also not expensive, but it is very flimsy. It's not very stable. Clamping is awkward sometimes because you need to balance the turn of the knob. But once you clamp the material, its clamping force is very strong. As you can see, it can hold the wood very well if you need a wood vise. I will open this to its maximum opening. Then I will show you how I clamp my router table to this workbench. I will position the router table that the router base will go through the opening and the two pieces of wood will position properly to be clamped. Now that the router table is in place, watch as I turn the knob clockwise. The clamping mechanism will clamp the wood then securing the router table to the mini workbench. It's that easy. The router table is now very secure to the mini workbench. So to make a router table, all you really need is a spare router base 
and a palm router. That's it. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.